This is the film wrap up. They want to know. You tell them once and they still like. So, uh, talking about Isaiah Rashad. Now I'm going to talk about the second album that I'm like, I don't know, bro. Ooh. He, he he giving J. Cole the work, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't... Like, matter of fact, I'm going to say here officially, he, he 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 topped J. Cole, bro. I'm sorry. Mm. Mm. He, he, he gave J. Cole the work with the best mm. album of the year. But that Nas King's Disease 2. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this shit here... This shit here, niggas. Like, I I thought the first one was great, <clears throat> mm-hmm. but this shit here, Nas showed his ass. Pause. Like, <laughs> Lord had mercy <laughs> from the first record. The pressure, like, like he rapping. I'm thinking like, okay, the pressure. You know, he rapping. And then when that beat switch over, yes. I was like, okay, what are we doing here? <laughs> like, and then it goes into Death Row East of him talking about the whole situation of back when he was beefing with Tupac. Mm, with Pop, yes. And how they ended it off, too, with the concert shit, bro. Sheesh. And then it goes to 40 Side, a track record that is fucking ridiculous. Hard. And then it, that goes into EPMD Remix. Mm-hmm. With Eminem... Showing the fuck out? Mm-hmm. This nigga rhymed Jada and Nas 32 times. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? No, no, excuse me. He rhymed name of this song 32 times. Mm. And then from that song, he goes into rare. Mm hmm. I'm in rare form. Niggas been copying your moves, but they just, oh my God, like, that beat, doom, doom, like, what? Yo. And then it goes, oh my God, like, bro, the hype levels when I'm listening to this album, I was at work in my desk, but they jump out my seat. <laughs> and then it goes to YKTV. Hey, Boogie. Oh my! Like and then YG hopped. On. Oh. Bro, I love yo YG one of my favorites though. I love that energy. Pop off, red juice dripping. That's that hot sauce. <laughs> 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 Girls going wild. Take your top off, like nigga. What? <laughs> like, oh my god! Like, baby girl, this roof is rented. The coupe ain't rented. Something, something, something. The stars in the ceiling are harvested. Like, come on, dog. And then from there, it goes to storm. Like, you know, this album, I could, I could literally go from track to track. I have listened to this album every single day since it released. Oh. And then you get moments. And then from there, you get nobody featuring Lauren Hill. Oh. Rapping her ass off, bro. A 24 bar verse. Mm. Like, That's for anybody, because I had this conversation before. Quote unquote, Lauren, uh, Lauren Hill's not a rapper. Say that she, again with your chest. 24 bars straight of her rapping her ass off. Mm-hmm. Talking shit to anybody who has said something about her. Mm-hmm. On a jazzy boom bat beat. Are you kidding me? Mm. And then from there you go into Phony Love featuring Uncle Charlie. Brunch on Sundays, count me in, compote like come on, come on. Mm. I'm gonna say it now, I don't know how you feel I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go, but easily. Mm-hmm. Best album of the year for me. Like, mm-hmm. hands down. Like I love what Cole did, but this song has no skips on whatsoever. Mm. None. The production is on point. It's boom bap. It's New York, but it's still updated to not feel outdated. Like mm. it, this album is like, like Hit Boy did this man so much justice that I want to see Hit Boy do an album with every legendary New York artist. 
I want to see. I want to hear a Jada Kiss and Hit Boy album. Mm. I want to hear a Jay Z and Hit Boy album. Watch the throne, bro. I want to hear a Raekwon and Hit Boy album. Mm. That's how fire this album is. I thought the first one was dope, but this shit right here is just. Phew. I'm gonna let you go. Sorry, I, I, I'm sorry I took the time up for those who uh. listening. But this album just hit me in the level in a way that I didn't expect to be hit. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know how to follow that. You pretty much said it. Uh, <laughs> damn near everything I like. To, I'm I'm being that ass. You said damn near everything I was gonna say, bro. This album is phenomenal, dog. Phenomenal. I've heard it since it's released four times, possibly. Like the opening track, bro. The press. I knew I was in for something special, bro. The minute I pressed play, because that shit was. Whew. Yeah, mm. um, this is Nas in, in rare form for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Like, I never knew Nas and the blend of him and Hit Boy would hit so, like, this shit. Like, a lot of, I feel like a lot of older artists, like, they struggle with s- sounding, you know, of, like, hit, like, now, nowadays, they sound like their older shit. Like, Eminem struggles with that. Eminem, like, I don't think he understands how to blend, like, you know, cotton, new hip hop and make it his, it's his own thing. I feel yeah. Nas mm-hmm. has perfectly learned that blend, bro. Like, yeah, yes. r- rare, hard. <laughs> Eminem <laughs> did his shit on EPMD, bro. This album is fantastic. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if, if it's my number one or if it's too cold, because, like, I, I, I've listened. To, I'm not even going to talk how many times I listened to the Cold album, but. This shit is it's up there, and it, it, it's 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 fantastic, bro. I don't have, I don't have any negatives though, any negatives whatsoever to say about this shit. This shit, way be- King's Disease was dope, but this shit is fucking fantastic, like phenomenal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, he yeah, he don't he doesn't sound dated. He still sounds like prime. Not yo, know, this shit is crazy, bro. This, I I, I wasn't expect because, I was a little surprised this album was coming out. Cause King Disease One was in was just released last year, so I wasn't expecting a number two so quickly. Yeah, me. But, so I, so I was expecting something rushed. I'm yeah, like, you I, know, I, I was expecting it to be like leftover tracks that he just had. Yes, the first exactly. One. And then when that shit cut on, I was like, hold up. But this shit was phenomenal. Yeah, I love this project from beginning to end. YG, bro, why do you? You know, I listen to every YG album known to man, bro. That dude is heavily, heavily underrated. Mm-hmm. And seeing him on a Nas, bro, that, that should put a smile on my face. I was, I was doing that West Coast dance, all them shit, bro. Man, bro that <laughs> <shit was> playing. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, bounce, That nigga bounce is different, man. Yeah, well, it really is, though. It's it, it's crazy, bro. It, it really I'm a little bit closer than that Saint Laurent. <laughs> yeah, but it, yeah. So yeah, you pretty much said what I was gonna say. I, I couldn't Honey. agree more. Um, this shit hard. This shit yeah. is hard. Like, this is the film wrap up. They wanna know. We tell them once and they still ask us. The people are thirsty for knowledge and we gotta fill that cup. We never chill, ask them. When they come to film raps, bro, we keep it real. That's us. This is the film wrap up. They wanna know. We tell them once and they still ask us. But the people are thirsty for knowledge and we gotta fill that.